Yeah. If you ain't talking about that large money, then that conversation ain't at all for me. Too many niggas satisfied with just call money. A new chain, couple bottles at the ball money. We need that. Two acres for the yard money. Diversified portfolios and bond money. Pull a few strings that guitar money. Try to run up on me? Nah, money. Getting at it from the AM to the PM. Move fat boy, that's the door by your BM. Love they love it when they see him. We still in the hood, but we on top like the alternators in the GM. She feeling this? G5JF TV, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the share button as you come on in. Big shout out to all the sponsors of the channel. All the information is in the description box. And follow your boy on Instagram and Twitter at Box with G5JF TV. Now, this past weekend, Anthony Yard got a victory over Diego Ramirez in Spain. And I really don't even want to talk about the victory because it was expected. I want to give you all the backdrop of this fight. Now, Anthony Yard coming off of a knockout loss to Sergey Kovalev. And it was a good fight. And Anthony Yard had his chance to finish Sergey Kovalev I think it was in round eight and he just couldn't pull it off and he ended up running out of gas got hit with a shot and ended up getting knocked out now anybody that's familiar with boxing usually when you suffer a loss especially a knockout loss your next fight is a soft touch now I'm not a disrespectful person I am pro fighter I'm all for fighters getting paid and being able to come home to their family and provide for their family. Now, I'm talking about Anthony Yard's opponent, Diego Ramirez. I've never seen him fight. I'm pretty sure he's worked his entire life as a kid growing up to become a professional boxer. But this is part of the reason why I be having problems with the sport of boxing Diego Ramirez had four wins 48 losses and three draws let me repeat that four wins 48 losses and three draws to cap it off he only has three KOs and he's been knocked out five times. I'm all for a guy getting a soft touch after a knockout loss, but my God, like, how did this fight even get sanctioned? And again, this is, I'm saying this as respectfully as possible because Diego Ramirez, you can look at his record and be like, okay, well, he's not a good fighter. But how does a fight like this get sanctioned? Like, you have to be qualified in order to take on a job. That's with anything in this world. Four wins, 48 losses, and three draws does not qualify you to go up against a guy like Anthony Yard. Now, fortunately, he didn't get seriously hurt. And he was able to go home to his family, be able to earn a paycheck, things like that. But just boxing going forward, these are the types of things that we can't have happen. Period. I don't care if Diego Ramirez ended up okay. It doesn't matter. Bottom line is the fight shouldn't have been sanctioned to begin with. And y'all couldn't find somebody better then four wins, 48 losses, and three draws. And again, there's no disrespect to Diego Ramirez. Like, really? Like, you was just in the ring with Sergey Kovalev and probably should have won the fight. Congrats to Anthony Yard for winning the fight. But when I say this was a, a waste of Anthony Yard's time, like, you don't get better taking fights like this. You just don't. And Anthony Yard is should be on a world-class level at this point at 175 pounds and i mean they they charge people to get in the building to watch this you understand what i'm saying like this is crazy like and they expect people to take time out of their schedule to watch 
this. Y'all let me know if I'm bugging. G5 Jeff TV, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. Please share this video, support your boy. Support good content at all times. I appreciate y'all. Peace.